Thank you, Madam Speaker. Honourable Senators, I rise today to build awareness and encourage action to address antimicrobial resistance, known as AMR, a complex and major global public health threat that is growing in Canada. Antimicrobials are medications designed to kill or stop the growth of microorganisms, such as bacteria, viruses, fungi, or parasites that cause infections. They include antibiotics, antivirals, antifungals, used to prevent and treat infectious diseases in humans, animals, and plants. AMR occurs when bacteria and other microbes adapt in ways that allow them to fend off or disable antimicrobials. These microbes with resistance survive and grow in number. This happens naturally, but overuse and misuse of antibiotics and other antimicrobials in humans and animals, causing these changes to happen faster and before new antimicrobials come to market. Colleagues, microbes are winning the race. The result is that infections are harder or at times impossible to treat, causing more severe illness, longer hospital stays, and more serious complications. In Canada, it is estimated that one in four infections are already resistant to first drugs used to treat them. Bacterial pneumonia, gonorrhea, and urinary tract infections are some of the common infections that are becoming harder to treat. Without effective antibiotics, patients needing surgery, dialysis, and chemotherapy will not be adequately protected from the risk of life-threatening diseases. In 2018, 5,400 deaths in Canada were directly related to AMR. The costs to the healthcare system in Canada's GDP are already significant. 1.4 million, sorry, 1.4 billion and $2 billion, respectively. This week, November the 18th through the 24th, is World AMR Awareness Week. This year's theme is once again preventing antimicrobial resistance together, highlighting the importance of collaboration. In Canada, we have a nationwide color campaign, hashtag Go Blue for AMR, to increase the visibility of AMR and spark collective action landmarks and public buildings across our country, including Canada Place and the CN Tower, will illuminate the night sky in shades of blue, representing beacons of hope and awareness. Honorable colleagues, let us use this World AMR Awareness Week as a catalyst for change. Through a collaborative effort, we can safeguard the efficacy of antimicrobials and develop sustainable solutions ensuring a healthier future for generations to come. Miigwech, thank you, merci.